guys, it's Ricky here, and today I'm back with another video. And today's video is on my build. If you guys didn't see my last post, I posted my build and how good it was on the 1v1 court. Bro, this build is good for everything. 5v5, 3s, 2s. So if you guys didn't see that video, go watch that video, bro. That video is lit. It shows my build, showcases it, shows what it can do. And if Loki could do everything, man. It's like the NBA 2K20 two-way slashing playmaker. So if you guys like that build, this is that build on this game. Alright, uh, shooting guard. Uh, the hand you want to use, that's your preference. That's all you. The number, again, it's you. Then we want to go to defensive and playmaking pie chart. It's all the way down here. It's right here. Defensive playmaking, where you see 90 steal and you see 78 driving dunk. Let us know that's the right pie chart. Physical pie chart, always pick the first one. Speed matters more than anything. Strength does not matter this year. You can get through screens. The, the player's not going to bump you that much. Don't worry about strength. Speed is always the best. Even sensors are using speed now, so that should just tell you something. All right, so you might want to max out your driving layup. Max out your driving dunk. You put your close shot up until you get six finishing badges. Now you want to max out your shooting. Max out everything. Literally everything. You can't finesse no badges here. Like you put one tick down, you get 10 shooting badges. If you want 10 shooting badges, go ahead. Not really a big problem, but I took 11 because I want to, you know, the most I can get. So you want to put your pass accuracy all the way to 77. Remember 77. Pass accuracy, I never really cared for it. I don't know if people make a big deal out of it. I just personally never care for pass accuracy because I don't really throw lobs and like that. I don't really pass the ball too far away. So I keep my pass accuracy see like very low almost all the years. Ball handle, you want to max out. You want to dribble. We are going to be 6'5 too. So we want a speed boost. We want the most ball handle we can get. 16 playmaking. Now we want to max out perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal all the way up because we want to get them steals, and 55 block. Don't go max out your block. 55 block. And we want to put it all in defensive rebound. Boom, 19. So 6, 11. 16 19 93 speed 52 92 acceleration 75 vertical but that's gonna change body type is preference i just went slight or something like that because you know i don't really want to look too big so for the height you want to go 65 you can go 64 but i only recommend 64 if you don't plan on playing the 1v1 court so for twos threes and fives yes 64 is acceptable but there's no point. I don't believe that there's a point. 6'5 breaks just well. You're still getting 99 speed. So go 6'5, in my opinion. But if you do go 6'4, go ahead. <laughs> That's fine too. It's all preference. I'm just giving you what I did. Wait, I think I went to 178 to get, to get that one little extra strength. Strength doesn't matter at all. So you could go all the way low if you want to, but it really doesn't change anything. You still have a 95 speed, which is 99. All right, so wingspan, max your wingspan out. This is what's gonna get you the contact dunks at 99. This is what's gonna get you your defensive stats if you go crazy. Look, 93 steal, 59 block, 77 defensive rebound. So that doesn't really matter, but you know, it still helps. 87 perimeter defense, which goes up. So all these, these stats you see, plus four. Like, these are gonna go crazy, bro. Like in your contact dunks, in your playmaker, defensive, and you can shoot. A 64 three is good. And plus, when you get the plus fours, you got a 68 three. Bro, you're not going to miss, bro. You're not going to miss. So max out your wingspan. If you do go low wingspan, again, I, I really don't recommend it. If you're going for that 6'4 build, you might as well go lowest wingspan. I don't recommend it, but do if you want. But max wingspan, it just offers everything. The contact dunks is the biggest, biggest thing. 99 overall, contact dunks. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest reason I went with this build. There's lock takeover, the slashing takeover, and playmaking. I went with lock takeover because I played 5v5. Five five, I played threes. In the 1v1 court, it does help. I get a lot of more blocks. I get a lot of steals on post scores. So I will go with the lock takeover if you're doing that. But if you're like, yo, one court, I don't need lock takeover. I can defend the post scores. I can defend the insides. Go slash and take. If you play twos and threes, you want slash and takeover, go for it, bro. You gotta get some contact animations. If you're trying to have fun, go slash and takeover. Don't go lock takeover. Like lock takeover is more for comp and all that stuff. So it's not for clips. So go slash and takeover and go playmaking takeover. You're trying to have fun too. There's all those ankle breakers freezing your defenders bro playmaking takeover also passing the ball i don't know if you guys know this but you pass the ball to your teammate bro it's automatic green bro if your teammate misses that's on them boom you have a two-way tempo pusher bro this build is fire i like it i can't wait to get it to 99 thank you guys for the support lately you guys have been killing it bro i really made my switch to 2k like what yesterday and then the video's already at 500 views i appreciate you boys like that just makes me motivated to more make more videos and i got you guys we're gonna be posting builds jump shots everything and let me know if you guys want to see 5v5 like i know that's not really like most common thing people do i want to introduce that to my channel 
feel like it would be lit if I got 5v5 in my channel. I got like a great squad and wants 5v5 videos because it's lit, bro. I love 5v5. I find it way more fun than parking stage. But let me know if you guys want to see that. Again, thank you for supporting the videos lately. I appreciate you boys. If you want to grind even more, I appreciate y'all. Peace.